do I mean I, I I feel that and I used to think like okay well you get seasoned with every life you gain consciousness you sometimes you're bad sometimes you're good and the you know because I had a near-death experience and I heard no thesetum which is know thyself and I thought okay well I have an opportunity in this life to break the pattern so I don't keep on coming here um, do you feel like and, and they say like that the light at the end of the tunnel, I don't know if I've asked you this before, is like a mind wipe and not to go into the light. Like, have mm -hmm. you thought about wanting to come back here? Like, I've already projected, I don't want to take all their jabs when I come back. <clears throat> I, I think we come back and we live the same life over really? and over again. Um, I mean, I've, I've had memories of other lives in, in different timelines, but things like deja vu, I think are uh, incredible. Um, like and deja vu is so real. I mean, oh my God, I've been here before and done exactly this before. I think these are confirmations that you're not changing your path. You, you're just doing the same old shit that you've always done when you've come <laughs> here and you're messing up. Uh, I've noticed that since I stepped onto the path of doing what I do now, which I really got forced into. I mean, the universe took away everything from me, so that all I had left was my research. Once I'd gained all the skills I needed, it was remarkable. Like, um, I got married, I was a musician, did all these sorts of things, got used to being on stage, playing guitar and doing all sorts of stuff. Um, then I got married, my wife stole all my stuff, she wouldn't let me see my son. The only way I could see my son was to log on to a game and play a game with him, which made me realise that all of these, these people are... Uh, that I'm interacting with online are, are real people. It's not just a computer. It really gave me a sense of connection to the people I was playing with in the game. Mm -hmm. And because I wanted to do things for my son, I learned how to do Photoshop. I learned how to do video editing, uh, all the stuff that I did. I gained all the life skills I needed to be a speaker, a public speaker, and, and make videos and all the stuff that I'm doing now through my life up to that point. And then when I had every skill I needed, the universe took everything away from me. My ex-wife came back and stole all my music collection and all sorts of stuff. So I had nothing left. I was, I was almost suicidal. And all I had left was my research. And so I, I wrote a book. I sat down and spent 15 months writing a book just for the sake of it because I wanted to put all that information out there. And then I started speaking and doing YouTube videos and blah, blah, blah. And since then, I haven't had any deja vus. I haven't had a deja vu in wow. the last... 18 years since I've had a deja vu. Um, so, can, I, can I just tell you something? That in the Pfizer documents, in the 9,000 side effects, one of them is deja vu. And when I saw that, I was like, what the fuck? Why would they, how would they even know to put deja vu? So that's just, one of the side effects of the jab, deja yes. vu. Yes. Because you're on this. This just confirms what I was saying yes. to you before about how they've done this before. And they keep harvesting your soul and getting you into the mainframe. See, every time you come here, you've got an opportunity to escape the realm so you don't have to come back. I would suggest that if you're in a state of pure spiritual consciousness when you leave the realm, you won't even get the option to walk into the right light. You'll just go straight back to source, you know. And I think we have an opportunity to change the path that we're on. We come back here and we just keep messing up. You know, we just keep doing it. We're just repeating the same patterns. We've got certain preferences for, for certain foods or certain alcohols or certain drugs or certain sex or whatever. We just keep going down that path and we keep corrupting ourselves along the way. We have these deja vus. Oh, yeah, been here, done this before. You're not learning anything. You're coming back and you're not learning anything. Even when you come back here and you want to know stuff, you go and ask someone and they'll tell you to do your research. Research. I want you to go search for the answer. I'll tell you to do your research because you've done it before. You came here, you asked me this question the last time you were in your life. Like the teachers at school, they're just NPCs. They're the same NPCs, the same robot, the program people that you asked the questions of last time. So they're not going to tell you to go search. Oh, it's you again. Research. Research. You know, and, and I think we have an opportunity to change all that. And that's what I think all the deja vus are about. But like I said, I haven't had a deja vu in 18 years since I since I, I went onto this path. So perhaps that's, that speaks for something, you know? Yeah, I like that theory. And it, and it also confirms <clears throat> what you shared, because when I saw the deja vu, I'm like, what is that about? Mm. So it's such a that's, strange... Uh, I didn't know that one. That's uh, Yeah, that's I'll have to also... Little... I tweeted about it a long time ago when I... That's an interesting little tidbit, that one. Yeah, bizarre. When, when, 